first sale of the day. It's like Christmas morning. I think my buddy Tony is here. I ran into a couple buddies at that sale. Uh, my buddy Dave, who resells, I've been him for a while. And then uh, Huber. Um, I worked with him at Played Against Sports a long time ago. Really nice guy. And he's getting more into garage sales now. And he said he's uh, been watching my videos. So if you're watching this, John, it's good seeing you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. The uh, next sale I went to, it was like all throughout the house they were selling stuff. I guess they're moving. And the guy was talking about a car he was selling. He said he had a buyer for it. He said he bought this Toyota Supra 15 years ago for 30 grand. And now it's worth like 60 or 65, I think he's what he's selling it for. It's just crazy. Like, pretty much never happens that you sell a car for more than you pay for it. But I guess it was in the Fast and the Furious movies. So, it's a pretty big collector's market for it. I've only got five or six garage sales to go to today. And then I'm meeting my grandma for lunch. She called me earlier this week to wish me a happy birthday. And uh, said she wanted to take me out to lunch for my birthday. So, we're going to go do that later. Tomorrow is the big garage sale day. There's a huge neighborhood sale that I go to every year that I always do really, really well at. The neighborhood is so big that it takes me pretty much the whole day to get through it. It's it's just absolutely massive. I usually get there by like 7, 7.30, and I don't leave until about 12. Just because there's so many sales in there. Today it's kind of like rainy and gloomy, but tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny, high as 70 degrees, so I'm hoping the weather stays like that because it'll be perfect for garage sales. Well, I ran into my buddy Dave at that last sale, and it looks like he's at this one, too. There's also a lawn one there. And there's electronic. Oh, is there more inside? Okay. So at that last sale, I bought a telescope, um, some other kind of like medical thing. They were five bucks each. I didn't look them up. I just thought they were cool. And he had a uh, TV VCR combo. I don't think the brand was very good. It was like a Quasar or something like that. And he didn't have the remote. So I got that for five bucks. And he says, if you want to take that whole basket of, you know, Disney VHS tapes, just take it. And I'm thinking... I know they're not worth anything, but I've seen people bundle them together and sell them local, you know, TV VCR combo and like 20 or 30 Disney VHS tapes and maybe get 50 bucks. The TV alone is actually going for like 80 bucks on eBay uh, plus shipping, but the absolute pain in the butt to ship. So if I could flip it local, I think I might try that. I'm wondering if, if you guys have ever done any kind of combo deal like that with like Disney VHS tapes and like a TV VCR combo because I mean that'd be ideal for a kid's room to, to watch movies it's not very big either I think it's like a 13 14 inch something like that so might just go perfect in the kids room this looks like a big sale there's actually two houses they advertise a lot of baby stuff and I don't always really look for baby stuff but my wife and I are expecting our second child in a couple weeks, so we need a few baby things. It's ready. I'll get it. I just picked up a really cool old toy chest with wheels for 10 bucks. I got two of these um, Dermabrush replacement sets for a dollar each. Selling for $33 on Amazon. I also got this big box of stuff for $4.50. There were some books, some mugs, um, an antique pitcher. Everything was like a quarter or a dollar at that sale. So I got a lot of stuff. Are you sure? 
pretty good scope. Cool. I know that we're still going for like a hundred and a quarter on eBay, and then yeah, you got to pay shipping, so I figured I'd yeah. fifty bucks. And works fine, no issues with it. Very cool. Huh. I just upgraded to a digital. One. Yeah. Okay. Like the beach, yeah. or like if you're outside. Yeah. Just like a good shade. Yep. So we're like 12, 15 minutes from here. Oh, okay. Thank you. 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 And uh, we're gonna need something for the newborn. Show you guys a quick tip on tennis rackets. <clears throat> Good way to tell if you got a quality racket or not is this this piece right here that connects. If it's all one piece, that's a good indication that it's a better racket. But if you can see where there's two pieces that connect, it's a cheap racket. Blue label. You've been collecting for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Something I've seen that catches my eye. Yeah. 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 Kinds of little trinkets and things. I got a couple mugs. I got a Cincinnati shot glass, a slinky. I paid four bucks for everything. Nothing was really pricey. He was just kind of like, you know, what do you want to pay? He had some really neat aviation stuff. Some old signs and license plates, and he just didn't want to move them. I understand. I think he was in uh, the Navy. Blue for the Navy. But yeah, he had some, some really cool stuff. Some of it was like newer, and some of it was older. There was just a big mix of random junk and treasures one of the mugs i got is pan am and i think that uh airline has been defunct now for decades so it might be worth something might be not i don't know i've been finding a lot of mugs lately so we'll see if i can move them all right this is the last sale of the day and then i'm going to pick up grandma see what they got that was a good sale got a nice golf bag a couple golf clubs for 20 bucks and the van is really starting to fill up going to lunch with grandma now but once i get home i'll pull this stuff out and I'll show you guys everything i got neighborhood god sales all nice. over did you see it advertised I didn't see usually it. they only advertise in the loveland herald have you got a desk at home at home yeah here uh, I think that's the cutest thing. I've had that for years. That's cool. And Thank I was going to clean my dresser off because I'm changing from Cincinnati Bell to Spectrum and saving myself $30 a month. Oh, there you go. For two years. She was telling me that when I was born, nobody believed her because it was April Fool's Day. And I thought... They didn't. But who who had the biggest problem, she didn't tell you that probably, was your, uh, was your papa because see, Joe Jr. had come along. Nobody would believe him on that. Yeah. Then he is so excited. You was a boy. He is calling everybody, and nobody would believe him on that. <laughs> that was April Fool's. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're working on these roads. I see that. Uh, it, down at the bottom of the hill. Well, people ask me, and I guess it's because I call and ask them what they're doing. <laughs> and they always tell me. All right, back at the house, here's some of the big stuff I got. I got this big toy chest for 10 bucks. Needs to be cleaned up, but it is very neat. It's wood. I think I can probably get 40 or 50 bucks for it. Selling it local. This is the golf bag I got. It's an Ogeo. It's a really nice golf bag. Ogeo is a great brand if you ever see the bags. And then a couple golf clubs. This is a nice Cleveland driver. Haven't looked up comps. And here's a Cobra 3 wood. That was a little bit older. 
All right, guys, I'm a little pressed for time, so I'm not gonna show you everything, but I'm gonna try to show you some of my favorite pieces. I've got this microscope for five bucks. Didn't test it or anything, but it was pretty clean. So I thought it probably worked. Swift 950 series. Got this backpack for $2. The brand is Elite First Aid Inc. Um, I looked up comps. The new ones were going for quite a bit. I did not see any used ones, but here for $2, kind of hard to go wrong. Did a quick scan through those VHS tapes I bought. And I found this Dark Crystal VHS. Turns out this is the first release. Uh, it's like the Jim Henson edition or something. I don't know. Um, saw some comps on eBay sold for around like seven to ten dollars, which isn't a lot of money, but I guess it is for a VHS tape. Um, so yeah, I get a little bit of money out of the, all those free VHS tapes I got, and I'm probably just going to bundle the rest of them with that TV, try to sell it locally. I got this Weebles Treehouse. I just thought it was really cool. It was only two dollars. I haven't looked up comps or anything, but it's definitely vintage, probably 80s. Oh, wow, 1975. So who knows what that's worth, but I thought it was neat for two bucks. Here's what I got in that guy's garage. He had so much stuff. Honestly, that's what I love about garage sales is just digging through people's stuff. Like they'll just let you dig through everything. And he had been hoarding for years. And I love garages like that where there's just stuff everywhere. So I got this Pan Am mug. On the back it says Pan Am serves the world from Indianapolis. No like stamps or anything on the bottom. It's kind of a smaller mug. Definitely vintage since they've been defunct. This is a little Cincinnati shot glass. I'll probably keep in my collection. A little slinky. And I thought this was neat. This is a mug, a Boeing mug, and it's got the view from the cockpit. That's it guys, I think most everything else I've shown you already. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go to that neighborhood sale, I'm gonna try to do some filming, but I probably won't get the video out till like Monday at the earliest, just cause I got a lot going on this weekend. But thanks for watching guys, good luck out there for hitting yard sales. I'll see you next time.